is interesting about Vinyl Plus is working with difficult materials. It's not just post-manufacture. This is contaminated end-of-life stuff. What that's doing is, is not just working for PVC. That's working for materials generically. It's creating the physical and the policy appetite willingness infrastructure for driving ahead circular thinking in all sectors of materials. Um, and we shouldn't actually forget that PVC itself is a durable, long-life material and that that itself is a major contribution to a circular economy simply by delivering more value per unit of molecule for a longer time. One thing about Vinyl Plus is everything is out on the table. It, it's not as if we're um, creating targets, not telling anyone about them, not telling them how we're doing. Everything is transparently stated in terms of the intent and there are sub-targets for each of them. So right across the five challenges, there is tangible progress that anyone can two clicks of a mouse check up on. Now the progress to date, with almost 600,000 tonnes of PVC recycled, heading towards the 800,000 tonnes per annum by 2020, is a massive achievement from where we started. But look at the other challenges, for example, around organic chlorine emissions, or around engaging the supply chain, or about developing a framework for assessing the sustainable use of additives. They're all major, major um, elements of progress relative to the starting point. For me, one of the most significant um, overall uh, benefits is the way Vinyl Plus has brought together complete value chains. Because trying to fix something in a narrow sector, in the manufacturing plant, well, that's not where most of the impact is. The impact happens because materials are sourced from somewhere, made, restructured into a product, that product is used, maintained, and either disposed of or recycled. And Vinyl Plus has tried to close that loop, engaging every player in that chain, including those that regulate it. So it's really the social infrastructure Vinyl Plus has built that is one of the key features. PVC has moved from a state of being perceived as a pariah material towards one now that is being cited as an exemplar by the UN, by the EU, by other sectors, simply because of the massive progress and the transparent reporting of that progress. Its role in the circular economy is very much now as a leader rather than a laggard.